previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got oh, another shit. good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Well, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor room. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Well, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Larry's just... looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! What we got going on, man? What we got going on? Ah! Hope y'all doing well, too, by the way. We having a good day. Night. Whenever y'all see this. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, shit. No, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe we can help. help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know. Guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help you. Yeah, we're gonna help Please. him out, man. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Let's try it, bro. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please. Hurry. Oh. We want to hurry. We gotta do something. Please, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. What? Oh no. It was been a minute, bro. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never leave. Please. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, Let me try. Get those walkers off of me. Is he Is he going to make it? Stop, stop, stop. Please do something. Get me out of Hey, don't we want to do? No, no, no! Try to get the chair! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Got to, bro. Sorry. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Sorry, brother. Ah, it has to be now! I got it, I got it. Chill, bro. Sorry, bro. Ah, damn it, he just cut off his fucking leg! We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go now! Oh, we got one more? Ah. Yeah, I would've passed out too, bro. Shit. Is he... He passed out. I had to, man. I had to. I had to, bro. Grab him and let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! No! The gates open. We've got wounded. Shit. What the hell are they doing? Come on. Come oh on. My God. What happened? Oh, the hell what's going on? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat. Okay. Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee. What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What's no, your mouth? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. 
enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? That wasn't nice. No? Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome that wasn't nice at all. Come over here and see what I drew. But what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Yeah, I'm not need the one of y'all sides. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. This Why fool. don't you go help Mark with the wall? Get out of here, dude. Man, you better quit looking at me like that, bro. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Pressure. You only have what four food items for ten hungry people. Sheesh. Well, I already know. Yeah. Everybody looking at me, bro. <laughs> I already know who. I already know one person I'm finna get some food to. One more time. Yo, you gotta get, you gotta, you gotta take care of the kids, bro. Here, Clem, you need something to eat. Let me see. I give you some jerky. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. You gotta take care of the kids Daddy, first, food. man. Ducky's hungry too. Yeah, why don't we not get some food? I got you, Duck. Here you go, bro. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Right now. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. All right, we got what they said. We got we got three more, maybe two more rations of food. Let me see. Yeah, it's her. Oh, I'm cool, with Carly. <laughs> want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I'm good. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. Okay. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Okay, so let me... Let me get something, Kenny. It's my dog. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah. I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Got you, bruh. One more piece of food. Look, nah, I'm... Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I got you. Yeah, we, we finna get somebody else's food. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. What are you talking about? 
Hey, you want to sign in and take it? Here. Take it. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Sure, I might need to take it back if she keep tripping. Not such an easy job, is it? It actually went that hard, to be real with you. Got to take care of the kids first. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. No problem, buddy. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! Got to, got to what deal with happened it. to my food? You ain't getting nothing. There's none left. You <laughs> keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're Shut one up. to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Okay, he can now he wants to. Let me holler, bro. What's up, Ben? Hey, is my friend gonna make it? Oh, yeah, I gotta check on him first. Roger will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. There's no other way. He said. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The What's man up, ben? you saved is Mr. Parker, the band Parker? director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. All right, speaking of him, let's go check on him. Is he going to be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? <clears throat> sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay. We'll talk to the... Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <sighs> this dude is a man, I'll tell you. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. You know, nobody was even talking to you. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. <laughs> Thank you. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Nope. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... <sighs> oh... Yeah. I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried... But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not. You did your best, you know. 
Gidici be. Oh shoot. Oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. I can't remember. No, I wasn't expecting that. Give me that bro, give me that axe, bro. Oh. Bruh, come on, man. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Get him again, bro. Oh, shoot. Get away, get away, get away. I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking. No, 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 no. Let's get away. Jeez. Oh my gosh, get off of me, man. Do something. You okay? No. I died. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Me as the leader? You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Think so? Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see yeah. it that way. Maybe you're right. 
Listen, over the Especially years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. <laughs> I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summer, I, I used you. to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Hmm? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it there's all There's only two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, a you know lot what? more. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Here has gone to shit. Come on, that was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. The dairy where it's safe. That was nice. Here it is St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Bake fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? 
Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. And you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Okay. So we got going on here. This is a nice little spread they got. Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. Nice little spread. I'm like, dude. You have a little bro. And there. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? <laughs> yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Mm. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Gotcha. Stay attentive. You never know. Yeah, we gonna help these dudes out, help them, you know, secure the perimeter and all that. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? 
Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> what the? Get to the gate! Uh oh. That talk's real. Oh my goodness, dog. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Some bandits. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. I can do this all day. I already got one of you. Oh, shoot. Uh. You didn't deliver the goods. Shoot. Let me look, let me look over here. Let me get, let me get. Hold on. Hurry up. Did you really think you fuck with us? We can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, they're on the Shit, that hurts. You all right. Oh. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move it. I got it. Come on, man. Oh, get back, get back, get back. Oh, oh, get back, dude. Get back back. Give us the food. Why you let me move this thing, bro? Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness, another one? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Quite a few, bro. Quite a few. Rip. Oh no, hold up. This one's alive. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Get off of me, dude. That's one way to do it. Okay. Yeah. I'm all right. Are you good? Come on. Oh, oh, Lord! This thing is behind me. Oh my goodness! No, oh, this is intense. No, please. No, please. No, 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 no. Really? Ridiculous, dude. This is my second time dying. Thing is fast, bro. Come on, man. Thank you. Ridiculous, Let's dude. Let's go. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. <sighs> GG's, bro. Dying like that. Lee, what's wrong? There's a goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit, are, are you okay? The bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all! Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... It out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. 
Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. <laughs>